one great dining experience. Peppers. Mouth-watering fruit. Fine dressings, apples, meats. This place looks so familiar. Everyone in Newcastle has to know about it. Yes, it reminds you of when you were growing up. Right in downtown Newcastle. Look at those fine lunch meats and ethnic foods. Yes, it's Joseph's. Happy New Year! Yes, uh, as we embark on a great new year. Eh. We've found out so many things. There's been breaking news. No, I'm not talking about the Iraqis I ran, I walked. I'm talking about the fact that we had a whistleblower. Yeah, we found out that John yeah, he's become a closet watcher of, you got it, cooking a castle. And you know who taught him? Doc. Yeah, you wonder why they're sitting together when they're having coffee in the morning? They're talking about cooking a castle. They can't stop. See, the whistleblower told us, back during the holidays, they found out because Johnny's food got a little bit better, and he says, hey, what you do? He says, well, I started watching some TV. And right away, boom, they found out. He watched Cook in the Castle. Now, he would cruise through these holidays. And you know what the problem was? For New Year's, he cooked too much sausage. So, hey, I'm not believing. No, don't cry over too much sausage. We got the answer. Italian sausage soup. Dog's going, what's that? I'm from Erie. Don't worry about it, Doc. This is going to be easy. You can follow it. This is, matter of fact, this will be easier than uh, Johnny trying to figure out the three-man front that Iowa State ran. Now, don't worry, too, if you had it in sauerkraut. Just pick it up, rinse it off. It'll be okay. Under some warm water, and then get your crock pot. Mm. This is going to be outstanding. And uh, yeah, see, they put Marianne. Marianne goes, oh, that was a good idea. But all of a sudden, we know the doc and Johnny are telling her what to say. Not that Marianne doesn't like it herself. I mean, after all, we know Koppel doesn't cook. So, pay particular attention to this cook in a castle and you're going to say wow was that an ingenious idea so we're going to be right back right after these messages Arlington Market located at 726 Arlington Avenue has all the great food you remember yes their canned goods are fantastic and feature that old world taste and Meat, cheeses, produce, lunch meats, fresh cut meats, groceries, and so much more. It's Arlington Market. It'll make your table look spectacular. 450, Newcastle's community television station. This program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars, featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. Here you go, the Italian sausage soup. You've got uh, some spinach, some chicken broth. We're gonna use our oven bags. 
uh, so we don't get our crock pot all dirty. Giarusso shells, the medium, and then some garlic and some sausage. Uh, now to spice this up, we might add a little tomato soup. We'll check the broth levels and let's get started. Now, we have our liner and um, we pre-cooked our sausage. That way uh, it's been browned and everything uh, and uh, it's ready to go. We're gonna cut the links up into little bite-sized pieces and then we'll add our broth. Now our sausage is cut up. We're gonna add our garlic and a little bit of seasoning and then we're going to add our broth and our liquid through this. We'll add our chicken stock, our chicken broth first and then we'll come in with the paste. So let's put the garlic and seasoning in. Simple elegance in a majestic setting. Yes, right here in downtown Newcastle. Minutes away from shopping. Second from a gas station and let's not forget pastries a restaurant and oh yes the schools the majestic for that majestic lifestyle right in the greatest castle Newcastle come by and take a look now I've decided to kick it up with a little bit of tomato soup because I like tomatoes with greens. So that's going to go in there and then we'll add our paste and I'll do that. Now our paste is in there. <laughs> right. And our tomato soup. We're going to use the chicken broth, kind of swirl it around the can so that we get everything in and then we'll add our greens. Now you see our chicken uh, broth, our tomato soup, and uh, yes, our paste. Now we're going to add our spinach to this. We won't add the pasta until the last minute because we don't want it to swell up and get big. So um, it'll absorb all the broth too. So uh, let's add our spinach. And there's our spinach. And uh, we're going to, uh, depending on your crock pot, we're putting this on high for five to six hours, and then you have a beautiful Italian sausage soup. So listen very carefully. Tuscany Square Restaurant, 3470 Wilmington Road, where old world charm meets today's modern conveniences. You'll enjoy their spacious, comfortable seating. Their fresh ingredients that go into making every dish, whether it's pizza or that just right entree. Tuscany Square Restaurant, they're here to serve you. Call 724-654-3065. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV45. And NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Here are the Russo medium shells and our soup. We're going to add half a cup or so in, and um, It'll take about 30 minutes and then everything will be ready. Now there you go. And uh, we're going to plate this up, top it with Romano cheese, and we'll be ready to go. There, freshly grated Romano, the greens, sausage, tomatoes, it's a taste of sunny old Italy. Special thanks to Little Johnny's 2 downtown who provided funding for this program.
At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. We're back, and hey, didn't I tell you? Wow. <laughs> Just a little crock pot, a little time. Stuff you have at home on a nice cold winter's day. You got a nice little soup right there waiting for you. People are going to go, where did she come up with this one? This is so different. It's January. But you and I both know, and the whistleblower, <laughs> to my good friends, and you, watch Cook in a Castle. Yeah, available anytime on your time, right here on NCTV 45. So, um, boy, if you had smell vision, did that smell good? Until next time, it's like I said, they're going to love it. Bon appetit. Have a great one, guys. We'll see you again real soon. We can sing in the glow of a star that I know of where lovers enjoy peace of mind. Let us leave the confusion.